Oh, look at that. That's cool. All right, here we go. Launches away. Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, uh, our main plan is to get some more terraforming equipment going, uh, but we're going to do a couple of things before that. Um, we're going to build ourselves the Bio Lab as our next main building piece, and I believe, I'm not sure, but I think once we have the Bio Lab down, we can make explosives, explosive powder, and, and then if we can, then we'll get the, the tier three jetpack. Um, so let's start with that. I also uh, realized and confirmed in, um, in the last episode that I can indeed go into the ship at the volcano. I just need to go through the, you know, the front of the ship. Um, so we might hit that today. I also um, found kind of like a little shortcut to get from here to our starter base. You can see that I put beacons down uh, for both of those. Um, and uh, I can get all the way over there on about a half a tank of O2. Uh, getting back is a little bit longer, but I can even get all the way back on a, on a whole tank of O2. Uh, but it's just a little shortcut that you can take over the mountains. In the process of, of figuring that out, I found uh, a golden chest off that way. And I also uh, found a golden chest on the way back over to the volcano. Uh, I didn't loot either one of those because I wanted to do those on camera with you guys. Okay, so let's start with uh, putting together this um, uh, bio lab. So we need three supers, two Oz's, and an aluminum. All right, so let's get two Oz's, three supers. Actually, you know what? Come to think of it, I think I have some in overflow. And, and as you can see, I continue to build overflow chests. I don't know that these will always stay overflow. We might assign them something as we continue to expand. But for now, I just needed a place to drop all the stuff, you know, that we looted in uh, the previous couple of episodes. Oh, yeah, we got Oz in here. Uh, I, I guess it doesn't matter, but we'll take this, the three supers out of here. And we just need an aluminum as well. There's one right there. Look at that. Okay, so the plan is to put this building on the other side of this one. Um, let's go outside and... Make sure it's, uh, you know, at the right angle. Um, where is the connectors or are the connectors? It looks like maybe it just does a normal connection. We could do that, but that then kind of blocks that window. So let's do it like that. And yeah, I know, I still have to put foundations down, too. Okay, cool. And here we go. All right, nice. So this is where we make explosive powder. Uh, we can make flares, mutagens, tier 2 fertilizer, uh, regular fertilizer. Oh, so we need mushrooms for bioplastic nuggets and then bacteria samples. All things I'm sure we're going to need for various things. This, however, is what we're going to make first so that we can make our tier three backpack. Let's go back and take a look-see at that. Um, oh, by the way, here is where we're currently at. We're at 26% of the way to the lake stage. But remember, I haven't really, uh, I haven't done anything in the last couple of episodes to increase our terraformation. So it's just kind of at a slow crawl right now. But that's part of what we're going to deal with in this episode. Uh, at least that's the plan anyway. Let's go back here, and okay, so we need to make two explosive powders, plus we need two Oz's and a super alloy. Let's grab the super and the two Oz's. Okay, and then um, for the, for this we need two sulfurs and an iridium. So we need four sulfurs, two iridium. Now, I thought there was something else we looked at that needed explosive powder, too, but I can't remember what it was. Wow. Wait a minute, what? 
Oh no, I did that wrong, didn't I? I needed four sulfur and two iridium, not... Yeah, okay, never mind. <laughs> that makes an awful lot of noise when you do that. This is cool looking. Very cool. Alright. Now we should go be able to go back here. Right now our jetpack does is a, a propulsion plus 170. This one I think is 190. Yes it is. Here we go. Fan freaking tastic. We got a tier 3 backpack. We're essentially moving 90% faster than standard speed. I love it. Okay. Um, I made an O2 box here. This water box is completely full. Uh, let's see. I also... I may have already done this on camera. I can't remember, but we planted all beans over here. I put a couple of chests in here. This one has um, oxygen seeds, and this one's loaded with just food seeds. And uh, it is my intention to move our food production into this room. I think it would be cool to do that. And let's see, we also have in here, I don't know if it'll let me do chips now. No more, okay, nope. So we probably have to reach a, another threshold, most likely with the terraformation index before it's gonna get let us do more blueprints. Um, next thing we're gonna do is, I'm going to, I'm going to show you my shortcut to get back to the starter area. We'll grab, we'll grab another load. I still have a bunch of um, ore left over from our uh, time there. And then we're going to go over and I think we're going to hit that ship at the volcano. And then after that, we'll come back and start building some stuff. Um, and we should have... I mean, I've added two more of these, and I haven't added anything else since then, so we should have a lot of power, but I think we even have the ability to make the Tier 2 nuclear plant. Um, I'm positive that we do, because we have a uranium rod, and we have enough uranium to make another rod, and that guy requires... Oh, it requires three rods. We can, of course, do the explosive powder now. Well, maybe we'll find enough uranium... Because the thing is, is, yeah, I'm like, I'm one uranium shy from being able to make two more rods. But maybe we'll find those, you know, in the golden chest we're going to look at, or perhaps in the wreck over by the volcano. All right, let's eat. Are you guys ready to pick yet? Not quite. All right. Um, I'm kind of eating up the lesser food and just stockpiling the beans. So let's have a space food. And maybe we'll even take an extra one with us. And since I have an abundance of water, well, we'll, we'll wait until we actually need it. But anyway, okay, so here's the shortcut to get from here to the starter area. Basically what I do, and you know what? Now that we we're actually have the tier three backpack, we'll get there even faster. It just occurred to me. Uh, but basically what I would do is I would just go over to here And then I kind of use this as a little ramp to just kind of bump up there and then scooch up to the top of here. Then we move this way. This rock is going to disappear and drop us down, but that's okay. I've done this a few, enough times to where I know we're not going to get stuck. Then we come over here and we just glitch right through here. And boom, we're already out into the starter valley. Um, so very nice little shortcut. Yeah, so we got all the way over here on almost exactly a half a tank of O2 before it was taken just a little bit more than that. Uh, all right, so this guy has a bunch of iron. You got a bunch of iron. You got a bunch of iron. You got a few seeds left. And I think I've emptied everything else out. It's taken me multiple... Tr well, I, I've deliberately left this food here because the intent is to come back here at some point and do some, um, you know, build an outpost on the lake once the lake is there. I think... See, we're going to pick up a golden chest on the way back, so let's grab that, but we'll leave this room for whatever's in the chest. Okay, so 
to get back, um, there's our marker, but we can't go we can't go ex back the same exact way we came there. We have to go a little bit roundabout, but still much quicker than going all the way around like we originally were doing. Uh, the lake, I think the lake's gotten maybe just a tiny bit bigger since the last time too, but like I said, we haven't done a whole lot yet to to continue raising the terraforming index. It's just very slowly creeping up at the moment. But it, it, it the water has risen a little bit more, you know, than it was before. This chest, I think, has that stuff in it. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave that there because, again, I want to... Oh, there's actually still ice here, too, which is odd. I guess it's uh hasn't heated up much in this little area. For those of you who don't know, this biome here with all these spiky things is just a little ways further um, to the south of the biome that we saw two or three episodes ago that has all that aluminum in it and there is some things in here that we can loot um, like there's a chest back there but here again I want to save room for whatever's in the golden chest now I did not know this golden chest was here and incidentally uh, this cave also opened up for us too it's got a bunch of iridium and some oz in it and maybe even a little bit of sulfur too yeah it's got some sulfur uh, but I haven't done anything with it yet okay so anyway um, I was just kind of coming along this wall trying to figure out if I could find a little shortcut over there. And I was just going along here and I kept coming around the corner and look what I found. There's a gold chest here. <laughs> Very cool. I didn't know it was here. Okay. So, uh, oh, good. Okay. So that gives us uranium rod. We most definitely now can make that tier two power plant. Uh, so let's grab all of this. And of course, we'll take the crate apart for another super and an aluminum. And yeah, there you go. Okay. So what... What I did then is I went up this little hill here and then there's this little ledge you can just kind of go along here. It points you right in the direction of our main base. So you just come along here and uh, in a moment some more terrain's going to pop in but that's actually good for us because it's going to um, actually act, act as a little ramp. So it's going to, yep, see it pops in right there. And we just kind of scooch on over the top of it there. And we're already back in the, what I was calling the aluminum biome. So very close to home. You can either go along the top here or you can just drop down. It doesn't really matter. And, you know, had I not stopped, showed you guys the, the cave and gotten the stuff out of the golden chest, uh, we would have easily gotten back before our O2 ran out. How much space do I have? Okay. Tell you what we're going to do. Let's go into here. Uh, all of these, by the way, have Tusca plants in them. Um, so, yeah, 400%. Let's drop all of the basic stuff in here for the moment anyway. Um, and we want to we wanna build a Tier 3. I'm putting all of my Golden Seeds in Tier 3 oxygen tubes. So we'll build one of those when we get back to the base. But... What I wanted to do here is, um, all right, hold on. We need to make ourselves an O2 canister because that's the rules. Just need to find a couple of cobalt. They're getting a little further, further and farther between. All right, let's make our O2, and um, we'll pop that water in a moment. All right, so, yeah, I was coming along here on my way back over to investigate that wreck at the volcano to see if I could get into it. I didn't actually do anything with it. I just wanted to make sure I could get into it, and then we do it on camera. And I noticed this little cave down here, and... We may have, I may have actually gone in here before, but I don't, I didn't go back far enough. So I came back in and just double checked it. And sure enough, if you go all the way to the back, look what's down here. Got a golden chest. It's a beautiful thing. A golden effigy. Okay, cool. So that gave us an iridium rod. So not as good as the other one, but still pretty good. And there you go. Okay, so there's some more golden chests that we have found.
Let's go back to the main base, put this stuff away, and get ready to uh, go do that uh, volcano wreck. Oh, jeez, I'm out of space again. All right, uh, yeah, let's, I'm just going to put all this in here for now. Except, oh, we have two, yeah, that's right, we have two golden seeds, don't we? All right, we should build a couple of these to to uh, support those. Um, maybe what we could do is just kind of keep extending the line this way. And we'll just, you know, eyeball it as best as we can here. Somebody was telling me in the comments that these generate a little bit of O2 when they're empty, but I'm I'm not seeing that, at least not, you know, not from the tooltip there. Hmm, I don't know. If that is the case, it does it's not apparent from just looking at the tooltip. All right, great. So we just added two more tier three with golden seeds in them for our O2 production. It's a beautiful thing. Let's empty this guy out. Um, oh geez, yeah, I don't have any room left in there. I gotta make more. <laughs> I gotta make more storage. Uh, it just has to happen. Let's grab an extra O2 bottle, and I want. I think we're ready to go. Yeah, I think we're good to go. I'm going to take. These are probably ready to pick. Yes, they are. All right, let's put all the beans in here. Let's grab a squash and take it with us, but we'll wait to eat it until we're at least halfway down on the food and with that I think we're ready to go let's do it okay this is our previous shed I think what I'm gonna do is let's move the locker and the station over to the ship, but we'll leave the building itself there. So we get into the ship through here. Um, can I set our building down here? Oh yeah, we can. Nice, okay. We want it to be pretty close to the entrance so we can get into it right away. Let's put the crafting station in the usual spot there. And we will build ourselves. Oh, okay. I need some more iron. Let's put, um, let's get enough iron to build at least two lockers to start with. Okay, there we go. Um, we're going to, yeah, we'll wait a little bit longer on the water. Let's. Let's just go ahead and eat that now to save the spot. And then let's do this. This is going to be weird because we're at a steep angle. Let's go left first. And uh, I have obviously never been in this ship. So, because I didn't even know how to get into it until just recently. We have our first chest here. Oh, okay, there's uh, there's a way to go up. Can we get through here? Doesn't look like it, nor can we take that stuff apart. We've got, uh-oh. All right, I'm back. Uh, I had a game crash and uh, rolled me back about, I don't know, five, ten minutes or so. So I got caught back up to where we were before the crash occurred. And now we can uh, continue. Um, so let's see. Yeah, we got water. We got room. Let's go ahead and go up the, yeah, up this ladder. Is this going up or down? I don't know. Looks like it's probably going up. 
Yeah. Okay. And that brings us into this room, which we can't do anything there. Some servers. Okay. There's another room with one of those nuclear thingies, but let's, let's stay left first. Well, looks like not a whole lot we can do to the left if we, unless we keep going this way. All right. What's this? This is a tree seed linifolia. That light is so bright. What's that? Oh, that's a space food. Actually, you know what? Let's, I forgot to grab that squash that I had. Let's take the water right now too. Okay, so we got ourselves our first tree seed. That's awesome. Um, is that anything we can do anything with? Uh -uh. This ship uh, seems to be a pretty good sized ship. Okay, that, that goes back down, but let's not do that until we've covered everything on this floor. Uh, that's just a Shanga seed, but yeah, we'll grab it. Some uh, electronic equipment there. We have an O2, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. There's another stairs going down. And this is the room that we looked into earlier with a sh another Shanga seed on the floor. What's that? Oh, methane cartridge. Awesome. Okay, these are the things we need to make the tier two deconstructor. That was worth the price of admission. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, cool. Okay. Nifty. Nifty, nifty. I don't see anything else in this room. And I think this is where we came up. So let's go back down the way we came up. And go back out, drop off, replenish air, that sort of thing. Oh, nice. Can I can I make that in here? Oh, we need a zeolite. I do have zeolite back at the base. Um, another thing we could do is we could run and grab one. Because then we'll be able to do even more looting in here. Those look like guns or something. Cool. Um, let me think about this. If we go back and grab one, that'll take me about five minutes. But it will probably be worth it. Yeah, I think I will. All right. I will be back here with a zeolite. And then we will make our tier two deconstructor. What am I doing? I should take stuff back with me along the way. <laughs> Not even thinking here. Yeah, it, the whole idea of building our T2 deconstructor just kind of threw me off track here. Let's take stuff back with us. All right, we'll take all of this. In fact, yeah, we might as well just make that back at the base. Um. No reason. That's an oxygen multiplier by 125%. Nice. Yeah, no reason to leave any of that stuff here. Okay. Okay, we're back at the base. And to make this guy, we need... We already have the, the tier one microchip deconstruction thingy. We have one methane cartridge and we just need a zeolite. Which is in the rare ore's chest. Rare ore chest. Okay. Let's make ourselves a tier two deconstructor. Boom. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Um, grab more water out of there. I put some more overflow chests in place uh, because we are overflowing. We'll put two of those in there. We'll take that one when we need to. Let's also, uh, let's top off our food with the squash and we'll keep this one with us. All right, back to the volcano. Okay, here we go. Back in the ship. What we're going to do is we're going to, we're just going to continue retracing our, our path as we go along because 
uh, this ship seems to have uh, quite the ability for us to get lost. Um, we can now take these apart. Oh, nice. That gives us circuit boards. Okay, cool. First time we've seen those in this game. Um, can we... We still can't take these doors apart, though. Okay. So that's... We came up there. Go up there. Go all the way in here. We can deconstruct... Oh, wait, what? I just deconstructed something through that door. I wish the game wouldn't do that because I don't know what the hell I just deconstructed. Um, yeah, that's a little bit frustrating. Okay, so that goes down. Can we deconstruct these? None of that stuff, huh? Okay. What about these things? Nope. You'd think these broken doors we'd, we'd be able to do, but apparently not. Big old console of some sort right there. We can't deconstruct that. All right, um, I'm going to go back down and replenish our oxygen. And then we'll come back and we'll take the next ladder that we come across there. Okay, so we go up this ladder. We go this way. Don't think there was a ladder in there. Go this way. Here. Okay, so this is the next ladder. Looks like we're going down this time. Rocket engine. We'll take that for sure. All right, what's in here? More of the usual. Okay, let's deconstruct this. I'm just trying to remember what everything looks like so we can find our way back out of here. We come into this room here. Uh, oh, something just flashed on my screen like there was something there. Uh, hmm. Maybe I imagined that. I don't know. Okay, that's our way out. Let's go straight this way. We'll hang a Louie. Another rocket engine. Good stuff. Um... We're going to build the rocket launcher later on in this episode, too. That's that's my plan, anyway. Okay, we'll just keep going this way. And I don't see anything over here. I'm stuck now. Oh, are you kidding me? Really, game? What the hell? <sighs> oh. I'm just kind of having a bad day, you guys. There's a, there's some things that have happened in real life today, too, that have made this day kind of suck. Oh, okay, good. I was able to back out. Jeez. All right. Um, There's a chest here. Oxygen multiplier fuse. Okay, we can continue going more that way, but I think we need... Uh, why did I not make an oxygen thingy? And there's nothing in there either. Son of a bitch. Okay, we made it. I broke the rules and just about paid the ultimate price for it. Um, let's make ourselves an O2 tank. Shame on me. Yeah, I've, <laughs> this has been kind of a bad day. I'm just... Oh, okay, but it's all right. It's all good. We're doing good. We got this. 
Okay, let's do another save. Um, I didn't, I don't think I told you guys this, but I had yet another crash. I don't know what the fuck's going on, but it's so frustrating. That's not the only reason why I'm having a bad day, though. Uh, okay, back up here. Um, but it's not helping either. And let's see, okay, because we can come through here, and this was where we went down here. All right. So we went straight back this way. We went there. I haven't gone over on that side yet because I want to kind of keep going the same direction until, you know, we know we've gone as far as we can in that direction, if that makes sense. Okay. Now let's see. We can't go any further through there. There's nothing through this way. So we deconstruct this stuff and push in through here. That leads us out to here. We can't go that way. Okay, that looks like it wraps back around that. Well, this place is really a maze. Oh! Oh, this is back out to the front. So we just kind of went full circle there. All right. All of this in here. Um. Yeah, we have a squash. We let, Let's do one more trip in before we eat, though. We might even find some... Uh, you know, some food in here or something. Okay, so so this was just basically a circle of the ground floor, but what we didn't do is I think, yeah, I think that's the other side. We didn't come back through here. So let's do that next. Got a room with a couple lockers. A stairs going up, but we're not going to take that. Oh, you know what? This is... Okay. This is the same stairs that we came down before, right? Because this is the room with the nuclear thing in it? Yeah, okay. It's really easy for me to get turned around, guys. That's why I'm trying to be extra careful to remember my bearings here. Okay. Let's go into this room, then, and... Uh, go through here. Okay, here's a chest. Got a blueprint, or a uh, microchip, I'm sorry. Which will turn into a blueprint when the game lets us start doing that again. And we crashed again. What in the absolute fuck is going on here? It is so frustrating. All right, I'm back. Um, the game popped me back in, I think, right at the point where we, or just a little bit before we crashed, because I think what we did is we came through here, we went all the way into here, then we came around this way, and we looted this crate, started to. Um, I've got HW Info 64 up now, so I can kind of monitor and see if I can determine what the hell's going on with this game. I also verified the, the files too, did the integrity check thing on Steam. Here, let's take these apart. Oh, I've, I've, I've recently... That's... Wait, what? That's locker storage? Uh, I've recently built myself a new machine. Got pretty good hardware in it, but... Okay, so can't deconstruct something inside. But when I switch out of here to open it, nothing is opening up for me. I don't get it. 
Okay, well, whatever. Let's take that O2. Does this go all right that just goes all the way back out again yeah these these crashes have kind of thrown off my ability to keep track of where we're at so I'm a little bit it seems to me like maybe we've covered everything we haven't gone up this ladder though Let's do that. Oh, yeah. I uh, Wait. Did this bring us to a new part of the ship? No, that's just this room with the... with that thing in it. Alright, I guess we've done everything in this ship, then. Hmm. Seems to me like uh, there should be more here, but maybe not. I don't know. I came in here, yeah. Can't get through that way. Very possibly that I'm, uh, you know, very possible that I'm missing something, but I can't tell what it is. All right, well, let's head on out then, and I think we're done in here. Um, we didn't actually look in on the bridge here to see if there's anything, but I'm not spotting it. Is there anything up above? Nope. Okay. Um, all right, so we're coming out of here with six circuit boards, decent amount of uranium, two rocket engines, iridium, that thing a doodle. I'm gonna take the more valuable stuff back first. We don't need the Tusca seed at the moment. We do need to make another O2 canister, though. Uh, we definitely don't need the eggplant or the magnesium. Let's take the two supers. Uh, I'm going to eat this right now. Guess we never filled these chests up. I, I, <laughs> I thought we were going to have, like, a whole bunch of stuff to get out of here, but uh, that was... That was kind of lame, actually, if you ask me. Unless I missed something, I don't know. I don't think that I did, but I might have. Um, but, yeah, we, we did much better in, in the ships in the starter area than this place. Is what it is. Okay, so let's grab the Iridium. I guess we'll get the Tusca Seed and the water. And, yeah, it doesn't matter. Just whatever. Cause none of the rest of this stuff is all that critical. And I can come back and get it again at some other point. Okay, let's go. All right, so we are uh, now at 31% and change on the way to lakes. And uh, you know what? We have some messages, actually, that we haven't read. Let's see what this is all about. Message from Riley. I managed to sneak more informations. I read that, that you have a greater chance of success if you build your base at an altitude. I'm not sure why for now. Probably because of lakes. And if you manage to heat the planet enough, some caves should become accessible when ice melts. Yeah, see, these are all tips we should be getting very early in the game, not like when you're halfway or more through it. Uh, Sentinel Court message. Uh, your planet specifications. Identification is unnamed. Corporation ownership is unclaimed. Habability, habability level is null. Sector is Azishal Prime. History is unknown. The unnamed planet is located in the Azishal Prime sector, a pre-civilization sector crossed mostly by trade ships to travel between big space ports. The sector count eight four, uh, the sector count 842 planets, 13,511 stars, and is 7,000 parsecs wide. The planet has been identified as a possible candidate for future colonization. To whom will receive this message? I'm a planet crafter. Sent on the Megora 3, uh, sent on the Meg Megoria 3 planet. If you receive this, it means you are near. Maybe you are a planet crafter as well. Yes, I am. 
Uh, the weather is atrocious and I'm running out of resources. There's not enough on this barren world to terraform it. I don't know why I chose this. Death would have been more pleasant than this hell. If anyone can send me help, please do. All right. Uh, I'm not sure how I would do that. We got a couple more messages here. Um, these are... Oh, we've already read these. These are the ones that we found down in the bunkers um, one or two episodes back. Okay, so that gets us caught up on our messages. Um, all right, I think what I want to do first is let's, let's give some more love to heat generation before we do anything else. Um, and... Oh, I was going to look and see. How's our power? Okay, we only have 83 kilowatts available. So, one of these does 86. One of these does 331. Yeah, let's make a let's make a tier 2 nuclear reactor first. Uh, just so we have plenty of power. And uh, we now have enough uranium for that. So we got two rods here, and we need to make one more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Very good. I'm going to save the game because I keep having crashes, so we'll save very frequently. <laughs> what a pain in the ass, man. Hopefully I can figure out what the hell's going on. Um, anyway, um, okay, so what else do we need for that? We need a super and an explosive and a couple of waters. Um, there's our two waters, and there should be a super floating around. Yeah, there's a super. And the explosive was two sulfurs and one iridium, as I recall. Uh, I have stuff all over the place. I'll, I'll, I'm going to have to do an organization sesh off camera. There's one sulfur. That's not something I would do on camera because kind of boring and it takes me a while to figure out where the, what the hell I want to do with everything you know I should have more sulfur in here I do and uh, there's a couple of caves we can go get more sulfur into that I haven't haven't done so yet let's make the explosive powder and we should now have everything to make a tier 2 nuclear reactor 331 energy <coughs> that's pretty damn good um what is this? This is 86. So we would have to make four of these. Yeah, so this is worth about four of these. One of these is worth about four of these ish. Cool. Um, all right, so we'll start the larger one over here. Since this is kind of our designated power generation area. Cool, man. Look at that sucker. Uh, what I want to do next is I want to do the launch platform. So we're going to need three supers, three titanium, three iron. Uh, there's three titanium. There's three iron. And we'll get some supers. There's one, two, three. And I think what we'll do with these is we'll put them, or with this rather, so we're going to put it off to the side over here because I believe it's pretty, pretty sizable. Um, so maybe we'll put it like over here. Oh yeah, that thing's huge. Um, how about right here? All right, look at that thing. It's huge. Okay, let's go up here. And this is where we craft our rockets. Okay, asteroids attraction rocket. Attracts uranium asteroids, gives a global heat generation bonus. Oh my god, a thousand heat multiplier? For how long? Wonder how long that lasts for. Um, magnetic field protection rocket attracts iridium asteroids. Hey, okay. Provides geolocation to the mapping screen. GPS satellite one. Provides better geolocation mapping to the mapping screen. Provides even better geolocation. That requires a super alloy rod. To the mapping screen. Provides even better geolocation. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, map information rack. Displays points of interest on the map. 
and drones visualiz visualization 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 displays drones on the mapping screen okay uh displays points of interest on the map that's probably going to be things like wrecks and stuff the thing is is i don't know how to make super alloy rods we actually have one that we looted from probably a gold chest somewhere but i don't know how to make it so i think maybe i don't know which one to do first probably these because look at the heat multiplier oh no that's a pressure multiplier oh very interesting why don't we do this this one here so we need two supers a rocket engine and a cobalt Oh, look at that. That's cool. All right, here we go. Launches away. All right, so how long does it take before it starts attracting... Oh, they come like instantaneously. Okay. Is it just, no, there's more coming. Okay. I like this. Uranium. We like uranium decent amount of it too so I guess the heat the heat bonus thingy is probably a just while the while it lasts maybe you might have to wait for some of these rocks to dissipate well, that was kind of cool how those all flew up in the air like that uh, before I can get to everything. Here we go. Uh, there. That is a nice little chunk of uranium that thing dropped. This looks like maybe the core or something. Okay. Uh, let's go back down here. We got water in O2, right? Yeah. That one I can't get to. Uh, nope, not quite. So it should stick around for a bit longer after the, the debris clears out of the way, I think. A, oh, another golden chest. Look at that. Man, we're finding these all over the place. Beans, super, fart. Okay. Not too bad. All right, golden chest, man. Um, Let's get that one. That one there. Hydration is low. We got extra water, so we're fine. So that's pretty cool. And it's it's a pretty generous amount of uranium, too. I mean, look at that. That's uh that's two rods and then some right there. And I and I still haven't, you know, I still haven't picked all of it up yet, because I gotta wait for all this stuff to clear. Yowzers. Okay, we're good. <laughs> My goodness, that's a lot of uranium. Okay, cool. In fact, you know what we should do is, especially since we know we're going to get more, uh, let's make, turn all this, or some of it anyways, into rods.
two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There, we can make two more rods. All right, I don't think we have to worry about uh, a uranium supply. <laughs> we got that covered. Look at that. Oh, man, that's awesome. Okay. Now, um, how far away are we from... Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for this. Uh, no, not that. Blueprint screen. This screen. How far are we away from the next level of heater? That's the tier four heater. Um, so we need to be at 12.31 parts per billion of oxygen. Aren't we there already? Oh no, sorry, we have to be at 63. We, that This is where we're currently at. This is where we need to get to 63 to unlock that. So yeah, it's probably gonna be worth our while to to make a couple more of those heaters. Um, and I have been putting the heaters over in our other uh, shed over there. But what I want to do is let's put the rest of this stuff away and let's run back out there and see if we can grab whatever uranium is left. That we need to put in a thingy-me-doodle, thingy -me but I'll do that later. Let's make sure we have an oxygen and we have uh, we only need one water for now. Okay, let's go go back out there and grab whatever's left. All right. Look at all that uranium, man. Remember, each one of these represents nine pieces of uranium, so hit the jackpot with that thing. So what we're going to do now is we're going to build some more of these tier three heaters. Um, they, uh, let's see, they take 21 energy per, and we currently have 349. I don't want to use all of that for heat, though. So, we could build 10, and we'd still only be using 241 energy. All right, how many iridium rods do I have? We have 10, and those are super easy to make, and we have iridium all over the place, plus the ability to do a satellite. Uh, so, let's make 10 of these suckers. Why not? All right, so we got the little guys there. Let's start putting these big boys in here. that out to there. We can slide it back this way, though, a little bit more. It's kind of right up against there, but that's a metal chest. It'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong? All right, let's do another heater here. So we got that, pretty much that whole side. I mean, I probably could have put them a little closer together, but that's right. We still have all this room, too. So we need seven more silicon. Okay. Let's go ahead and do um, this one here. And then we'll put this one right here. I'm just going to leave those there. Put that one there. I would imagine it's pretty toasty in this uh <laughs> this little shack by now. Really hot. Um we have room for one more. Or I should say materials for one more. Let's just put one right in the center there. Okay. Hopefully these plants won't roast in here. Um I mean eventually I'll probably move those into tier three veggie tubes as well. We'll have to see. So we have 
increased our heat production significantly. Um, we continue to increase our O2 production just by finding golden flowers and putting these down. In fact, we have another, uh, or sorry, golden seed, which turns into a golden flower. We have another one of those too. Uh, what did I do with it? Here. All right, so let's do another one of those. So we're going to need um, ba, 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 ba. here. Two silicons, a mag, and an aluminum. There we go. So the next thing on the list would be to add some more drills for pressure. I mean, I could even do a, I could even do an iridium rocket for pressure, but we don't need iridium. We have it like coming out our ears. Um. So. So our heat's currently at 6.2, whatever that symbol is, Kelvin. And that uh, that should have melted more of the ice walls in some of the caves, so we'll, we'll have to go check that out when the time comes. We still have 130 kilowatts of power, so plenty of power. Um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to see when the next drill comes. So the, the, the T4 drill comes at 41, uh, whatever that symbol is, Kelvin. So we're still quite a ways off, I think, before we can hit the uh, T4 drill. So let's do another row of uh, the T3 drills. To make those, we need all of that stuff. Alrighty then. Why don't we actually just continue going this direction well for at least a little bit longer with our drills. Uh, turn this way. You know, I didn't actually check the power requirements of all of these. Yeah, we're already starting to bump into the cliff. Um, I kind of wanted to want them lined up so they look nice. So let's just start a new row here. All right, so we've dramatically increased our pressure, our heat, and the oxygen's, I, I, I mean, I, the thing that I don't know is how do I measure Oh, or maybe measure is not the word. How do I compare and contrast the three factors? I mean, how do I know if I'm generating way more oxygen than I am heat proportionately, if that makes sense? I don't know. I'm not really sure how to tell that. Uh, but we've already jumped up to 8.27, um, whatever that character is, Kelvin. Uh, when we were just looking at this, what, 10 minutes ago, it was six something, right? So we can definitely see an increase in that. Oxygen is, oxygen's moving. It's sure moving. And looks like pressure is in into the millions of whatever PA means. Pressure A. <laughs> I should probably look up what all these measurements mean. I know what kilograms means. Yeah, there you go. Um, okay. So, guys, I think that's going to wrap up this episode here. And um, maybe what we'll do in the next episode is we'll focus on more biomass. Um, the only thing I can... Okay, we can do this algae generator. It grows underwater algae, generates biomass, placed on the water surface. We need eggplant for that. How interesting. Hmm... Okay, so see that generates plants one point one five two per second. Plants point six four. Yeah, so this is definitely gonna produce more biomass than this is. I'd like to spread some more of these out just for funsies anyway, so we have kind of like a quote unquote lawn that needs a lerma seed. So yeah, we'll we'll kind of see if we can bump up our biomass game in the next episode and in between episodes let's see we're we're at 45 percent okay 
In between episodes, I've got a lot of inventory management to do. Just kind of clean up this mess. Um, and I also am going to take our food production and maybe make a couple more of those. And I'm going to put them in here. And the idea is to basically just kind of line them up all the way around this curve. And probably put some more storage in here too to help support it. And yeah, so I think that's it for what I'm planning to do off camera between now and then. And I will, you know, I'll keep the recorder ready to go for, you know, when we're getting close to moving into the lakes stage. Okay, with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. I will catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.